Dear professional colleagues in higher education and experts in IT, management and other areas. I would like to introduce myself. I am Professor Dr. Raju M. Matthew. My paper, Nomatics, a new revolution in higher education, is prepared jointly with Ranjit Matthew of Random House Publishing London for the fourth World University Forum, Hong Kong, January 14 to 16, 2011. On the basis of a series of my research on knowledge consumption and production pattern of people of diverse background, I formulated two theories on knowledge consumption and production that got published in 1985 by the USSR Academy of Sciences, Moscow, for the FID Committee on Research on Theoretical Base of Information Science, in which I was one among the 12 members. This committee had consultative status with the UNESCO. Now these theories are known as Matthew's Theory of Knowledge Consumption Production Correlation and Matthew's Tay Theory of Knowledge Growth. They have become an area for doctoral research on skill acquisition and scientific productivity with a lot of applications in education and training, cognitive science, linguistics and information technology. After conducting an elaborate study on the nature, structure and representation of knowledge in the Bible, the Quran, the Vedas and the Upanishads, the Ayurveda and the modern science and technology and also on the theoretical foundations of information technology, I found that there exists a common structure and methods for all domains of knowledge extending for more than 3,500 years, starting from the time of the Vedas and Upanishad in India, passing through the ages of the Bible, the Quran and the great classical literature to the present high-tech, high technology. The structure of knowledge is non-linear and dynamic. Knowledge processing and handling technology can be built only by developing new algorithms based on the knowledge structure and not on data structure. Information technology is built upon linear and static data structure. In spite of all its claims and developments, IT is an incompatible technology in processing and handling knowledge. IT could not enter at the heart of the higher education, but only at the peripheral levels. However, IT could reduce learning, teaching and research into mere data manipulations. Actual university level teaching, learning and research must result in the consumption and production of knowledge at a higher level. Humanity is at risk of missing knowledge for information and using less than 5% of the knowledge that it has created so far. Nobody knows the fate of the rest that may be buried or lost forever. After taking long years, exerting laborious pains and spending substantial amount, what the best students get back from even the best or high-tech universities is a meager amount of knowledge, skills and expertise that you are outdated. Thanks to the crude and unscientific method of instruction and research and their cost effectiveness and suboptimal functioning. With a scientific and cost, eff cost effective approach, one can have tenfold of knowledge, skills and expertise just by spending one fifth of time, efforts and money in a university. By taking into account all these facts, in 2005, I propounded nomatics, the mathematics and engineering of knowledge, to study the nature, structure, 
representation and communication of knowledge so as to bring knowledge scattered in hundreds of domains, millions of books, and kept or generated in the mind or brain of thousands of experts into a common digital system for augmenting knowledge consumption and production into several forms. Nomatics is a science, a technology, a philosophy, and above all, a holistic approach towards knowledge founded on cybernetics philosophy and Pythagorean mathematics. Nomatics facilitates the creation of live knowledge banks and mega knowledge corporations so as to provide value-added and customized knowledge packages, solutions and services at different levels to higher education, scientific research, decision making and practicing professionals globally. Their services can be extended even to the school children and the common people so as to augment their knowledge accessibility, consumption and production into several folds, crossing all traditional barriers. Even a 5% increase in total knowledge consumption will result in a paradigm shift in human development and, re and redefine the entire development processes as knowledge empowers everybody and knowledge is power, knowledge is wealth and knowledge is money for those who can use it. All such developments will have a direct bearing on the entire higher education, making most of the universities obsolete overnight or force them to shut down or reduce into mere service centers of mega knowledge corporations. Some of the resource, resourceful universities or their conglomerations may emerge as mega knowledge corporations. It is time for the UN, UNESCO, World Economic Forum, World Universities Forum, private enterprises, universities, and national governments to come forward to launch international joint research projects and joint ventures to develop nomadics and set up mega knowledge corporations so as to ensure free accessibility of basic knowledge to all men on earth. Advanced and professional knowledge products and services can be provided on payment so as to ensure their profitability and sustainability. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the World Universities Forum for giving me this opportunity to explore some of the possibilities of nomadics, though it is provoking. I wish that it will lead a wider discussion at different levels or corners. Thank you very much.